Hey guys, it's Amber. Welcome back to my channel. I know it has been a long time. I'm taking so much needed time off. I was uh, struggling a little bit with my mojo, to be honest with you. I've uh, been busy with work, been busy trying to go back to school, and uh, just hasn't left a ton of time for scrapbooking lately. So I um, just wanted to dip my feet back in with a quick unboxing video for my Week in the Life products. They just came in the mail today, which I'm super excited about. So I thought I'd open them up with you guys. I'm going to talk about my plans a little bit. I do um, intend to work on Week in the Life. I'm going to be participating in Day in the Life. I'm going to be finishing up my December Daily album. I have these 27 through 31 to finish and a full album walkthrough. I have October through December of my 2022 Project Life album to finish. And I have 2023 yet to start. I'm a little bit behind, but that doesn't really stress me out at all because Project Lifestyle scrapbooking and all of the kits really make it easy to kind of just jump right back in and get caught back up. So let me pull out this product here. I love these albums so, so much. I bought two, one for Week in the Life and a second one so that I can do probably a travel album in it. Let me get this huge box off my desk. Okay. And I have two of these also. One for Week in the Life and the second one probably to go with that travel album whenever I, whatever trip I decide to do. So, I got these gorgeous albums. I have um, added on one of these um, product organizers from December Daily just because they were such a good price. It's nice always having taller organizers. I have those little wooden boxes from Target, but they aren't great when you have something thicker that you want to do. So I got the main kit, the... 3 by 8 chipboard dividers, a pack of these um, 7 by 8 craft papers, and the 10 by 4 cards with the days of the week for stories. I did want to open up one of the albums here. Oh, and I also got the mornings and evenings kits, which I really love because as someone who works full time, I feel like those are the parts of the day that I tend to scrapbook the most because at work I'm not really taking many photos. So I'm excited to use that and I know that if I don't use all of the pieces, I will be able to save some for a travel scrapbooking or a strike with scrapbooking in general. So, I have to admit, I don't love this really bright yellow inside. Yellow is not my favorite color by any stretch, so I'm considering painting the inside. We'll see. Um, it is bright, and it's one of those things that you just see everywhere. I wish it was just kind of a nice, simple white with like a pattern on the inside, but anyway, love this. I think this is gorgeous. Love these day of the week transparencies. I believe it was two years ago now that Ali had released something similar to this on the prep day or it was a digital file. Either way, I'm not sure. Um, but I had downloaded them and created my own. So we've got Friday, Thursday, Sunday, Saturday. Oh, you know what I'm... Oh, 
I thought I was missing something, but I realized it came with the main kit. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. The wood numbers, I was thinking those came separately, but my plan is to attach the wooden numbers to the transparencies, probably just like everybody else. So since I unboxed one of these, I was going to go ahead and put these in here, but I don't want to uh, touch all the holes out right on camera. I don't want to waste time doing that. So I will keep moving on. So I've got these card transparent. 10 by 4 cards, not transparencies. I thought these were really fun. I kind of had just assumed they were white, but they're actually like a, I'm not even sure, like a grayish kind of color, I guess. They're not really cream either. They could trim down to a four by four, I think fairly easily. Um, would give you a little bit of extra. It's too tight, I think, for a three by four. Some of it would definitely be cut off, but you could try to get away with it. If you wanted to do something like that. And here we've got the cards here. I think the way I'm leaning towards using these is I'm thinking I'll probably use my sticker paper and I would adhere that over top of these and I would do my timeline for the day. I'm thinking like 7 a.m. wake up, um, you know, 8 o'clock eat breakfast, 9 o'clock leave for work, you know, like that kind of thing. And on the back, maybe just include a photo of some kind in this space. Not really sure exactly how I do it. Um, a lot of people had talked about stamping, potentially. Not sure exactly yet how I'm going to treat that, but I definitely think the timeline would be a fun uh, way to use that up. Then you saw the craft paper. I don't really need to get that out. I'm not anticipating using one of these every day. is like eight by it's like 11 and a half by eight and a half. So you could definitely get a seven by eight sheet of like patterned paper out of this, which would be really fun. Especially because it kind of coordinates with the transparencies. It would coordinate with your pockets. Or you could just like, you know, cut, you know, like I'm, I'm using this as an example because I see the week in life. You could cut a four by six out of that, a four by six, several four by fours or three by fours, and you have the back as well. So I normally, I wouldn't use this as a pocket, even though I think you could punch holes and fit it in this direction, left, left to right. Um, I think that as just patterned paper, it would look cool. So I'm excited that they are continuing to make papers for stuff. And I also love this. So in my album from a couple years ago, I made a vellum intro page, title page using Allie's handwritten sheet. And then I did transparencies for all the days of the week. So I loved that look. It's one of my favorite albums. I'll have to remember to link it. Um, but I think that this throwback to that is really Awesome, and it's making me happy. So what I'm thinking about doing is, I'm trying to decide where I wanna put the year. Like either I wanna put this on here, or um, maybe take some bright colored vinyl and put the year here so that it kind of stands out um, on its own, or like some stickers. But yeah, I love that. So I don't think I wanna put the highlights at the beginning of the album. I feel like I want it to go at the end, but I like the idea of having either a photo or pattern paper on the back of this so that it's not see-through. I want it to be 
white and crisp and bright. So, but I love the idea of this. Maybe doing like a couple little mini photos for the day. I think that it's too narrow unless you're going to type up journaling to add journaling to this, but a couple little mini photos would be really cute. Then we have the reflections one through 10 as well. Card. We've got the chipboard set here. So the Monday through Sunday, this is not supposed to be pink. It was an error. So everybody got digital copies of the kit basically because of that. I love these. I love that they gave us a 2023. And I think these labels will be fun to add throughout as well. And then these are also really fun. So loving these kinds of ing words i think i would be able to use pretty much all of these especially now that i'm going back to school i can use learning got these vellum tags here one of the things i'm considering doing is there's some tag paper that was um there's two sheets that were in the december daily 2022 kit this year in the main kit and then in the add-ons and then there was one in the week in the no week in life this is week in life one little word kit and I'm thinking about dragging that out and maybe using that to add some of these tags to maybe combine some of that and it was a pretty neutral color so we've got some vellum tags here with different colors on the outside and I love these huge circles they're actually bigger than I thought they would be I was expecting like little two inch circles but these are Two and a half. So we've got the moment in time, living through it all. And this have gold on them, which is fun, making the most out of these moments. Loving all the things about this weekend. So that's nice because you know it's going to go on either Saturday or Sunday. Um, perfectly imperfect. Good days. Better days ahead. And these both have moons. These both have suns. Memories from this week. So I could go towards the end. And making it through everyday chaos. So there's nine of those in seven days. That gives you some options to kind of mix and match a little bit. You don't have to use them all, but you could. But I like having at least seven of something. So that at least one can go on every day. Just like these have seven options. Then last we have the cards and the pockets. So one of the things that I'll probably do a little closer to the week, especially after a prep day, and I'm sure Allie will give us some cool digitals or some fun ideas, is I will get my album set up. I am not the type of person who feels like because these are in order, they have to stay in this order. I might change up my colors a little bit, you know, so that yellow goes on a yellow day. And um, I might go through my stash and find some embellishments that match. So we've got our Monday ING words. And since we have digitals of this, I'm thinking about setting this up in Photoshop and maybe adding my journaling with sticker paper. If not, I'll hand write it, I'm not sure yet. And then these are interesting. I'm still not sure exactly how I want to use these, but I've seen some fun ways already that people have considered using them either as R or as a three by four cut down, but they're like blocked out. And then, let me see one. And there are at least seven, so at least there's one for every day. And here we have the pocket. sure I've got one for every day Saturday and Sunday those are cute I'm anticipating that mine will probably go into a divided page protector with the 10 by 4 since these fit inside um, actually here and ordered the plastic circles 
And I'm not seeing them here. I thought maybe they might be mixed in. So these are actually chipboard numbers, not wooden numbers, which I was mistaken. So they're actually lighter weight, which is good. There's in the past these have been wooden numbers. But I just realized that I didn't receive that plastic circle set. Which I definitely ordered with like the pinwheels. are shut I highly doubt that it will be in here but I do need to open up all that trash in case it was like stuck inside one of these pieces I'm a bummed I'll have to contact them hopefully they're not sold out Abby's team always provides amazing customer service. So this is another one where um, I could probably get a seven by eight piece cut out here of what would be like pattern paper. Even if you didn't use it for this kit and you used it for travel. Um, you know, on the front, I could probably get some four by sixes or three by fours out of it. So this has this awesome vellum quote. I love that they're starting to do stuff like this. This is so fun. They've got these chipboard frames and what you can't see online is there's actually the line on the inside is different colors. So it's like a peach yellow, like a teal, green, pink, kind of like a rose kind of color, a green, a lightish beige, and then I think like a dark blue so we've got the moon stars and sun puppy stickers those are fun then we have the die cuts they look like they all have gold on them we've got some banners and then some speech bubbles so look like clouds and then just some different icons. And then um, just different things. Ending the day this way. Documenting, we've got a newspaper. And the fork and knife is really cute. The alarm clock. Starting today right. And then all these fun starbursts. And we've got some flowers or clouds of some kind there. Those are really cute. I'll probably try to mix and match these with my chipboard numbers of the day since there's so many. That way I have kind of three of something. Um, I would have the transparency, the number, and then like something else. Got these really fun words in Alan's handwriting, and then this awesome sun and moon. I've, I've been begging for more stuff in Alan's handwriting like this, so I just think these are so cool. Um, and I almost got the stamp set in her handwriting that's a duplicate of these, but I think I'm gonna wait and get the digitals instead. Late, so we've got late and early. Good morning, wide awake, good night, sleepy. The good evening and, and good night is so cute. And then the open arms for this brand new day. They're just so stinking cute. So these will be really fun to add to large photos. got these vellum strips. I loved using these in the December daily kit this year. They are fun. And they're going to help reinforce the colors of the kit. 
So we've got, I love being able to come home to you, giving thanks for this chaotic but normal morning. Waking up each morning with a grateful heart. More coffee, please. Always more coffee. So this one I won't use because I don't drink coffee, which is a shame because I love that color blue. So these look like they're the full six inches. That one's about five and a half, maybe. Today was hard, but tomorrow's a new day. And then these are smaller, taking a deep breath after a long day. Mama said there would be days like this. I love that one. And evenings with you are my favorite. So those are just really fun. And then last but not least, I don't want to get all of these out with these huge chipboard words. Like, they are monstrous. So I would say they're probably only going to either fit into a 4x6 pocket or onto a 10x8 photo. So, love seeing all that. And I am excited to document. Week in the Life is definitely become one of my favorite projects. I love being able to go back every year and see how much things have changed, even though things feel like they've stayed the same. Um, one of the things I definitely plan to do is to go back through my albums before the project over the next couple weeks and just go over them and I'll make notes and see what kind of things I want to document. Um, I, I tend to take photos of the same types of things so I can see that progress change, but um, I am really excited to work on the project and I can't wait to share all my progress with you guys as I work on it. So thanks so much for watching and I will see you soon for more projects coming down the road. Thanks for sticking with me. Bye for now.